Killing revs is easy, and it doesn't require many stats or money to get started. In this guide, I'm going to show you how to kill revs, make millions of GP, and hopefully not get killed by PKers. All right, you're not going to need crazy stats to get started here. Uh, I would recommend around 70 range and then just enough prayer levels to have all of the protection prayers. This is going to be all you need. If you have Monkey Madness 2 done, you're in a great spot because you'll have the Royal Seed Pod for one-click teleport. Uh, we will be above 20 wilderness so we'll need more than just a regular teleport if you do not have monkey madness 2 done that's okay just grab yourself some rings of wealth okay we're going to going over two setups in this video one we're going to be with budget which is what we have here and then we have a higher risk higher reward we'll be able to kill them faster so we'll go over that setup next here we have our budget setup I'll show you what we risk. It's about 300k, including inventory and all of our equipment. So obviously the item, the avarice, I think is crucial. Um, it's still, if you make sure you have protect item on, you're only risking 300k uh, here. So, and you're going to be able to get noted item drops, which will prolong your trips and also a much higher chance at those totems and those uh, wildy weapons. Um, we have a magic short bow. You couldn't view it if you want, but that's like another 100k risk. Uh, amethyst arrows you probably don't need this much maybe start off with like 200 reduce your risk a little bit you definitely need this ethereum bracelet here uh throw like 10 20 30 charges on there more if you have a lower range level and then everything else here pretty basic stuff you're probably going to look like a bot and you will definitely be mistaken for a bot but that's okay they use it for a reason okay and here's the higher risk setup we have the web weaver bow if you could afford it it's a huge improvement i've noticed that i get about double the amount of kills in the hour over the magic short bow but obviously that comes with more risk uh we also have the dragon soul bolts because i brought a rune crossbow um and just switch up the helm so not much of a change here uh inventory is pretty much the same this should be a shark but yeah you get the gist i'll show you the risk in this so the last risk was 300k this is uh, about 600 or 700k, uh, not including the loot we're going to get. And same with the other one, obviously. If you're using the Web Weaver bow, do not forget to always leave Protect Item on. Set your Crick Prayers to Protect from Magic and Protect Item. And never let your prayer drop to zero. Okay, you made it in the cave. You had to pay 100k to get in. If you die inside the cave, you lose 100k, so... If you could, try to die outside the cave. This is what we're got looking at. This is the entire wilderness cave. There's a lot of shortcuts here, but they're mostly high level. I have 73 agility, can only access this bottom one here, which is fine for what we're about to do. I really recommend getting 65 agility if you could. If you have uh, between 60 and 65, bring a summer pie. It will help you immensely. It's a great escape. We are going to be right here. It's going to be the Revenant Orcs. Uh, the, there's other things in this dungeon but the higher you go up the harder it is to escape which is why we're focusing over here all right we made it here lucky us usually the worlds are not empty you're going to sip a range pot turn on your quick prayers and we are going to leave these on you're always going to have protect from magic on and you're always going to have protect item on the protect from magic is always on because an Eventually, you will get teleblocked by PKers, and if you have Protect from Magic on, it reduces the teleblock time in half, from 5 minutes down to 2.5, which really does make a really big difference when you're escaping. Uh, I've found that you could usually fend off PKers for 2.5 to 3 minutes with all the food in your inventory, which is perfect amount of time for you to get out of there after the teleblock expires. You will get crashed. You could fight them if you're feeling risky, but I find it's more efficient to just hop. Not only is Revs fantastic money, but it's also pretty good XP as well. When I'm uninterrupted by PKers, maybe on like an early morning, uh, there's not that many PKers online. I can get a lot of good Rev killing in with little distractions, longer trips, more XP. I can see closer to 80, 90k XP an hour, which on top of the 2 mil-ish an hour that I'm getting from Revs, and GP is just insane. I spent a lot of time here. If you want to see my loot tracker, this is what I got. I have 1134 kills. I think, I think I've gotten a little lucky with the uh, medallion uh, drops, but um, even aside from that, I mean, 4.6 million bracelets. You're probably due for at least one medallion by this KC, but it just I guess I got lucky with the type of medallion that I got. But 42 million, 1100 kills, not too shabby. All right, sorry, couldn't record it, but I just got attacked by a rusher. Uh, another thing to be cautious of, probably the most risky, I think, in my opinion, 
is the declaw rushes, which just happened to me. Apparently, this guy failed. He was literally just staring at me for like 10 seconds. I wish I was recording, but I just wanted to make sure I had the protection prayers up in time. But uh, usually, they'll dress up like a rev killer. They might even be killing revs, and then they'll quickly switch to declaw. So if you see somebody who looks a little bit different, a little bit suspicious, really high levels, usually their max or very close to max, um, just, you know, maybe be hovered on your prayer tab and be ready to put on protect from melee because they can kill you fast. Real quick, we're going to check the looting bag. That was a very short trip, and you can see we made close to 500k. It's crazy how quickly the money racks up. I usually try to bank around uh, maybe 500 to 700k inventories, so we're getting close. I didn't even realize it. So you could see how profitable this method really is. It's not crazy hard. Start with the budget setup, work your way up to a web weaver, and you can start pulling in those crazy profit numbers and also get that insane range XP. You add on occasional PKs, but you're just DDSing the guy to the next you and um, get a little lucky and you got yourself a 100 mil bank. It's that easy. It's that easy, folks. So I hope you guys like this quick guide. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one.